guys, it's Pia here. So in today's video, I wanted to show you something really cool. Um, I might have mentioned in a few videos my friend Louise, also known as Louise Draws or Louise Crafting on Instagram. Uh, if you want to check out her work, you can uh, check the link in the description because I've put a link to both of her Instagram accounts there. Uh, but yeah, a while ago, me and her had a little collaboration custom. I actually commissioned her to create an original character based on a short hair cat base. And she came up with a really cool Egyptian looking character. And I made a custom of it and I paid her, obviously, for the design. Uh, and then once I had actually made the custom, she really wanted it. So we came up with a little deal that we did an art trade. So I sent her the custom and she sent me a package that is full of little surprises and things. And I thought it would be really fun to document uh, just all the things that are in it. And I haven't actually opened it yet. So you will also hear my genuine responses to all of those things. <laughs> I have no idea what's in these other than that I actually kind of commissioned her to uh, make these drawings based on my elemental customs that you've probably seen in a few videos. There are 10 of those and there are 10 illustrations that she made based on those. So in the end, I'm going to put a little slideshow showing you the illustrations and the customs next to each other. I think that's going to be pretty cool. So I hope that you enjoy that. But there are also other things in here. So I'm really eager to get to it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. So starting off, there's this cardboard thing that says uh, drawings. So I'm assuming that the pictures of the elemental customs are in this. So I am excited to open it and just show them to you. So here goes. Okay, there are actually a lot of pictures to show you, so I hope that you enjoy this little sort of slideshow. I'm going to just tell you which character is in the picture, and I'm going to tell you uh, what I think of it, because uh, what I've seen so far, they look really amazing, so I'm really excited to show them to you. Here they are. So starting off, this is based on my original character, Gaia, who is an Earth Elemental, and these pictures are just incredible. There's so much detail on them, and they're drawn, I think... As traditional art so she started off with a line art and then she drew the outline and she colored everything and it is just gorgeous there is so much detail on it um, I hope that you can see that and then next up is my little uh, wind elemental called Sylph it looks a lot like the dragon from Spirited Away but that's not exactly what I was intending with it but this really captures the sort of windy feel to the character that I had and once again the colors on it are just beautiful and subtle and there's so much detail I don't know if you can see these little dots on its forehead than on the ears but it's just incredible it's so pretty then we have vault my thunder elemental and this picture is amazing it really captures his playfulness and just kind of how sneaky he is and i just love the shading on the sort of horns on him and everything oh it's just so gorgeous He's actually one of my favorite characters out of the bunch, so I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Then we have something slightly different here in between. Uh, I actually saw this one on Instagram. Louise had drawn a pony original character that is based on me, and this is really adorable. So obviously she has blonde hair, because I do as well. And she has a pink bow, which symbolizes me, because um, that is my favorite color. And this pony is obviously painting a little custom, and it has a Pikachu hoodie on, because I have one, and... It's just amazing. <laughs> then here is something really cool looking. Uh, I think it's an original character by her and I think it's supposed to symbolize Libra, which is my zodiac sign. It looks really, really cool and I'm very curious about what this character is, so I'm gonna have to ask her about it, but it's very, very pretty. Then we have my fire elemental called Ifrit. I actually showed this one on Instagram as well because I saw this one before she sent them to me, but it's just so beautiful and I just want to say that it once again captures this character's essence really, really well with the kind of sneaky look and the sort of frown that he has. <laughs> it's incredible. And here is his counterpart, who's also equally grumpy looking. This is my ice elemental, Celsius, and I think this one captures his personality really well as well. <laughs> it's just so cute, and the skull on him is, is pretty creepy. <laughs> it looks really great. These are so amazing. Then we have my wood elemental called Whisper, and look at all of these details on her. Oh, it's so gorgeous. This is so beautiful and so amazing. So thank you so much, Louise. You really captured her as well in this drawing. It's so incredible. Then we have my little cyborg kitty, which is my metal elemental called Dust. And he also looks amazing. I love that he looks really metallic in this. And you captured the blue eyes really well. And it's just really, really pretty. <laughs> then we have my light elemental Luna. And she just looks pretty and serene and really sweet. So I love this one as well. And the wings are really, really detailed and amazing. Ah, oh, they're so gorgeous. And then we have my darkness elemental also looking really sneaky. I love these really big ears. It's so cute. 
So yeah, I'm gonna put a slideshow at the end of this showing the customs together with these drawings, so I hope that that looks cool. Then in between we have another thing that I already saw on Luisa's Instagram earlier. She actually drew this ages ago. This is Freckles and this is his sister, Flickr. I actually don't have Flickr, a friend of mine owns it. Um, and yeah, Freckles is really, really cute. And as I said, this is his sister. So please don't ship them. <laughs> it would be weird if you did. But yeah, they just look really amazing together and they are so sweet. And I actually have these pictures already up on my wall because I printed them out when she sent me the, the drawings through Instagram back way back when, when she did these originally. But it's really cool to have the original drawing it's really, really amazing. And finally, we have my water elemental Undini, which is just so pretty. Oh, I love the scales on the ears. It just looks amazing. So thank you so much, Louise. These look really, really great. But yeah, um, originally I thought that these were going to be the only thing in the trade, but there are actually a few more things in the package. So don't go away just yet. And let's see what's in it. So the next thing in the package just says LPS. So I'm very curious to see what this is. And I'm just going to open it. Oh my goodness, this is amazing! Look at this! It's an original character that Louise did, and I actually think that it is uh, this one in the picture. It's the Libra custom, because it actually has a sign for Libra here in the back. Oh, it's so gorgeous! Oh, I wish you guys could see this in real life. It is so beautiful, it has so much detail going on in the eyes, and the flowers are just so pretty, and oh, everything is just gorgeous about it. Thank you so much, Louise, it is amazing! And it just perfectly captures the serenity of the character and everything. It's just so beautiful. Ah, I love it so much. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, there's still more. So let's see what more is in the package. <laughs> As though I'm not spoiled enough already. <laughs> Thank you so much, Louise, for these. Seriously, they're amazing. So the next little thing that I got says My Little Pony on it. And I'm hoping that this is my pony persona that she did. Um as a custom. But yeah, let's open it and see. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen anything this cute? <laughs> this is so amazing. Oh, so it is my sort of pony persona that she came up with um, as an actual custom and it is so incredible. Um, my mascot is here as a cutie mark on both sides and it is so cute and it's just gorgeous. Everything about it is so perfect. And I love the Pikachu hoodie. It's sculpted so well. Oh, Louise is such an incredible artist. You should definitely check out her work. She is just amazing. And she is just so, so, so good at everything that she does. She's just incredible. And this is so gorgeous. So thank you so much. You really didn't have to do this. But thank you for doing it because it's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's so much better than I could ever had thought that anything could be. <laughs> so gorgeous. And finally there's a note and another note as well. Uh, this one is about Libra. It says, known for its beauty and elegance, hides her left eye representing the true beauty on the inside while her right eye shows the outside beauty and grace who can make anyone fall in love instantly. Covered in the clearest of opals and the brightest of marigolds, this peaceful creature carries the weight and symbiosis between the good and the bad. That is so beautiful written and it's, it's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. It goes so, so well with the character that I'm going to show again, because it's amazing! Look at it! <laughs> Thank you, it's so cool! And then I have the other note, I'm going to read that as well, so one sec. Oh wow, <laughs> it's a letter, let's read it. To Pia, the sweetest and most talented LPS customizer to ever be. Oh, <laughs> Hey Pia, I hope that everything arrives safe and that you like it. Um, Louise, I don't like it, I love it. Thank you so much for doing this wonderful trade. I still look at our little collab kitty every day. You made her so beautiful. I hope that you like my custom too. Um, I did, and she's amazing. Um, yeah. I put a lot of time into getting a good design. I tried to make a munchkin cat, but the tail wouldn't have survived. I also tried to add in some pink for you. <laughs> Thank you for sending the extra kinetotite and with that giving me a chance to make the hoodie for the My Little Pony. It was a good and fun challenge to do. And Louise, you did it amazingly. Um, I also sent a violin that I don't need. I hope you can use it for something really cool. Once again, thank you so much. I really appreciate everything so much. I hope I'll get to meet you one day in real life too. Stora kramar from Louise. Thank you so much, Louise. You are amazing. And here's the little violin that she sent me. I'm going to come up with something really cool inspired by it. And I'm going to incorporate that into it. That's going to be a fun challenge for me to do. But yeah, uh, sorry for this really long video. I just feel like it truly deserved all the attention that I could give it because this trade was amazing and Louise is amazing and 
The costumes are amazing, and as I said, please go check out her work. She is an incredible artist, and Louise, I hope I meet you one day too, because you are just so talented. For someone your age, it's just incredible that you are this good at art. I'm so jealous of you, <laughs> because at the time that you're my age, you're just going to be so, so, so incredible. So yeah, she is just a wonderful artist and a wonderful person, so thank you so, so much for everything, Louise. This was really great. Uh, just a little side note, you guys, I don't do art trades. This was just a very random thing because I happened to have that custom that we made as a collaboration and I thought that it would be a fun little trade to do. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you so much, Louise, for sending me these incredible customs. And everything that you said in the letter was so sweet and so lovely. So yeah, thank you so much for supporting my work. And you guys, go and support her. Go and show her a lot of love. She's incredible. Um, but yeah, in the end now I'm just going to show you a little slideshow with the customs and the little stickers or, well, the drawings that she sent me. So I hope that you guys enjoy that and thank you so much for watching and see you again tomorrow. Bye!